Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. In the last episode we made our way through the rest of Port Prisma, colouring in the three districts and finding our first mini paint star. Now I'm just here to show you quickly that if you ever need any help, here is the guide toad. You can also check the guide by opening up the menu on the gamepad and clicking the options button I think or the question mark in the top right you'll find it somewhere or you could alternatively hit the home button and hit manual from there I think that's how you meant to do it. but this time we are going to head onwards to Ruddy Road and this is like the best starting music I've heard in a Mario game so enjoy This is where the red mini paint star led us. Ruddy Road. Okay, Mario, let's look for the next paint star. Okay, just gotta paint quite a few things as we go uh, along, and we will soon find something quite funny. Well, that's not what I meant, but we have a new battle card, which I'll likely show off when I get round to actually using up all my battle cards. Sometimes you might see a thing like this in the ground, Hammer it to make a flower or a rock or whatever to appear. Usually you don't get something, but over here, if you, there's a ring of flowers, chances are there's a block in the middle giving us a nice item. Now this house we need to colour in, so let's get right on that. But even so, even if I miss that tiny bit up there, we're missing something. So let's check around the back, because it does come back here too. And this music is absolutely fantastic. Please be enough. Oh, I, okay, I guess the part on top wasn't quite enough. Clearly, or that. Or literally anything. There we go. Lots of... Nice cards, good cards, not worn out cards, because they're- whoa! Oh, hey Mario! We were all on a walk together when some shy guys showed up, so we all hid in this house. But somehow the door got jammed, and we all got stuck in there. It got pretty awkward, and I'm probably gonna move to a new town. Anyway, thanks for saving us! This game's humour is fantastic! But we're not quite dumb, as in this house, if you check the wardrobe... Oh Mario! I was just lounging around my house when all of a sudden a gaggle of toads forced their way in. There wasn't any space left, so I had to cram myself into that bureau. In my own house! Looks like they all left though. Thanks for getting them out of here. Here, take this. We get an ice flower, just like the fire flower, except it's ice. Now I have never heard of something like that called a bureau, I would just call that a wardrobe. Or a cabinet, I'll take either one. But not bureau, cause that sounds like a secret organisation building. But up, okay no, it's up the next bit. Up there, there is something very interesting, but before I do that, I always miss this spot here, so I'm gonna remember it. Okay, I'm glad that's gone. That's what sucks. And another new card. So many new cards to show off. Now, personally, my recommendation to you. I'm going to show off all the new cards to you guys, but I would try to keep at least one of every card in your inventory. What the heck is going on here? Got another battle with just three of the slurp guys, but that's okay, time to show off some of our new cards, and I think I'll use our first new card, the Fire Flower. And just timing it like now, and now, and now. Don't expect the fireballs to get much bigger, you get four fireballs with that, so if there's more than four enemies you won't kill them all, but it's pretty darn powerful.
They're making a break for us. Don't let them get away. They're sucking the very life out of this beautiful island. You're on, Huey. You're all right on the mark. Let's go. Once I paint this, because we have to fix the beauty of this island. And I think they ran this way. I think. I honestly can't remember if they went right or down. Um. Oh, okay. I think one of them went this way. Or no, both of them did. And, um. Okay, battle complete. And, oh my goodness, I did not expect this so soon. We got an enemy card. These cards are very rare, usually. I highly recommend you keep a hold of them and don't use them. But because I want to show them off, I'm going to use it in this next battle. Now, we can obviously see the Shy Guys in the tree, but I want to talk to this interesting looking toad over here. Greetings, Mario! I'm the captain of the Purple Rescue Squad. We received reports that people are having trouble getting past this cliff. We mobilized to see if we can find a way to scale it. Unfortunately, none of my three squaddies have arrived yet. They should have been here by now. If you run into any purple squaddies anywhere, send them my way, yeah? Over and out! You rescue squad guards are so cool. I love the color co coordinated get-ups. And your scarves are choice. Thank you, but serving in the rescue squad is more than just wearing a cool uniform. Our mission is to right the wrongs of this world, to stamp out injustice wherever it festers. If you ever want to talk to our chief director, you can find him at Rescue Squad HQ in Port Prisma's Yellow District. Okay, so we have another side objective. If we want to get up to that mini paint star and whatever else that thing is up there, we are going to need to find the other purple rescue squad. Now, there are three of them, so we'll be keeping an eye out as we go. We dance in circles, we up up the paint. If you think that's your business, trust me, it ain't. We have a new enemy. Basically, if you see a shy guy with anything, it's a new enemy. Paint guys. Now, I think this is a great time to use our triple worn out jumps. Which we also just got earlier this episode. Wow, getting a lot of new stuff. I'm not used to this. And does it knock him out? Yes. No. No. I'm, I'm taking my coins. So close to a full knockout though. That's a bit annoying. Now, I believe the paint guys just hit us with our their bucket. Yeah, yeah and that dealt actually a lot more damage than I thought. But a worn, up, a worn out jump will take care of this guy. There we go, lots of red paint back for our efforts and a few hammer scrap things. That is what the, I, 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 I'm, I've never actually said their name out loud. Anyway, down here though, we have a save block this early on. Okay. It's another one of those weirdos. Huh? He hasn't noticed us yet. This is our chance to get the jump on him. If you jump, uh, yeah, we've already covered this in the last episode, Huey. Jeez. But yeah, I'll take care of this fight for you guys. There we go, and let's just quickly paint in this section right here. Quick. And, oh, really? Just a worn out I didn't mean to use- Whoa! Triple worn out hammer. Even more new cards. I still need to show off my other ones. I think it's just the triple worn out hammer and the, what? what's the other one? The shy guy, right. Yes. Beware the paint thieves. Um, okay. One thing I love is that you can actually just paint over that. So much fun to do that. And here we go. There it is. There's a mini paint star over there. That was easier than I thought it would be. Hurry up and grab it so it can show us the way to the next paint star. And uh, no, I refuse. Where you going, genius? Get over here and grab the mini paint star already. Okay, Huey. 
That's why I typically don't run away from things, because something like that happens. Huh? But, but why didn't it go flying off when you touched it? Hold up! What in the Lost Levels is going on here? Look, look! The colour, it's been drained! This is a sick world we live in. That punk! After him, we'll make him pay for this! Oh my god, Huey is such a good character. Like, Huey alone as a character would make me want to play this game, even without all the other great lines. It's so funny. And we have a bit of a cafe over here. Um, can I buy something? Look Mario, you may have saved our lives countless times, but that doesn't mean you can cut in line. I was so excited about being first in line that I forgot I'm allergic to coffee. Well get out of the line then! I love lines, I don't even know what this line is for. Don't even care. Oh, I skipped one. Is this line even moving? So broad. You trying to cut a line? Unforgivable! Is this that cafe with the really overrated coffee? Can't wait to waste my hard-earned coins on it. And that shy guy to the left of you didn't have a speech mark, so... Hammer! Yes! Actually, I'm gonna mention... Take a look at... Well, I want to use a one-hour jump, but... That background there. I love how the battle stage changes wherever you battle. And it's almost every time you battle. You're not gonna see that stage ever again. That was it. I love how they do that attention to detail. Anyway, let's go after this painting. Get back here, punk. Ah, almost hit him. Okay, I don't think you can hit him there, but I always feel like I can. It's so close. And let's, ooh, new enemy. And okay, these ones tend to actually attack us. So gotta be careful now. This enemy is amazing. Now, usually I'd recommend you use hammers or anything else to kill them. Or an even better recommendation, just use a jump card. If you jump on them at least once, twice, when they're in their shell, they fly off and hit other enemies. It's so good. And that's a powerful hit it does on other enemies too. Okay, now wh who's gonna be next? I kind of, I'm waiting for a good battle to use those cards, because hammers already hit multiple enemies. So I don't want to waste it on two enemies. Anyway, another new enemy! My goodness, there's so many! And actually, that brings me to this battle card. I think I'll show it off on this enemy. There is something interesting about the battle cards, in particular the Shy Guys. You will notice when I use this battle card in just a moment. Using the gamepad is so much fun. This is a yellow shy guy. That means for every color of shy guy, or at least most colors of shy guys, there will be a variant of it. So there's a red shy guy as well, and other colors we haven't yet seen. Now, uh, as for this enemy, it's a spike guy, a red spike guy, which means there's a yellow spike guy too, and all that stuff. Here's our triple worn out ham hammers, but we know how these work. The spike guy does the same amount of damage as the shy guy. Except when it trips. That's when it hurts. As shy guys tend to trip quite often, this does like a lot of damage to you. Not only that, you obviously cannot jump on the spike guys. Okay, but yeah, don't jump on them. And here, this is something very interesting. If we paint all these flowers, now obviously it's a ring of flowers, but I love how they also make the question mark block blank. Inside though, we get a new card, a hop slipper, which quite frankly sucks. Anyway, pulling this will make a nice convenient way back before we read the sign. Beware the incredibly handsome paint thieves. Um, well, let's paint over it like the other one. 
Okay, you got me. I give up. I regret my life choices. I'll return to the paint I stole. It's like they say, you can't fight City Hall or City Plumbing. Come on, let's head back to that paint star thing. After you, I insist. And, okay. You're being quite nice. Cool, no battle. I thought I'd have to show off that hop slipper, but I guess not. Sweet. Okay then, uh, let's just make, ooh, the uh, new, new chats. How wipe out my mouth on the coffee. Every time, dude, every time I do it on a hot drink. This coffee is really expensive, but at least it's drinkable. <clears throat> Dude, if that knife and fork on the sign fell off, I don't even want to think about it. What? You want my seat? Buzz off, plumber boy. Um, can I have some coffee now? Sorry, Mario. Had a huge lunch rush today and went out of everything. Maybe lay off the snooze button a bit, eh, you big guy? Oh, please, I would just wanted a coffee. I got nervous having so many people in line behind me, so I just ordered the first thing on the menu. I actually understand that die guy right there. Who okay, I will now unslurp the paint from the paint star. You'll probably want to supervise me to make sure I don't try anything funny. There, good as new. So, am I free to go? Or is this the end of the road? <laughs> um, well, let's go get the pink star. Um, run away, run away. Basically, just keep running and hope that you don't get hit by things falling down. And it, I, have been hit by multiple things and it hurts quite a lot. Don't die. And wait, I'm. Um, ah, knife! Where's the fork gone? They're on a pretty road! My cafe is sky high! What am I supposed to do now? Somebody probably already owns the trademark for Sky High Cafe. Can't you, I don't know, unroll the ground somehow, Mario? Well, we did see them slap a sticker there, so... Right, I didn't think that was tech set. We can hit that tree open, make our way around here, and I'm sure we can unstick Ruddy Road. I just gotta say, the scale of this level. Expect this the whole game, guys. It's amazing. W well, that didn't quite do it, but let's give it a few jumps on. Yeah, that seems to work. Let's just keep doing this and oh, let's whack it down. One more. No one messes with my cafe and gets away with it. Um, okay. And I just love that the Shy Guys can change colour at will. I never knew that was possible. Oh, Mario, good timing. Those masked guys have may have tipped well, but I can't forgive them after what they did to my cafe. I'm trying to teach them a lesson. But I've been doing Pilates. Pilates? Pilates? How do you pronounce that, guys? I need to know. So, I'm not heavy enough to squash them. But I was thinking if we jump at the same time, we could give them a real stomping. Come on, please. Um, okay. And, like that. There we go. Whoa, look at that blue paint. The customer is not always right. Whoa, I feel so much better. Back to the cafe with me. Thanks, Mario. Sure thing! I think we'll leave you to fix your cafe in due time as we finish off this level! Oh yeah, course clear! 
And let's see what level will be unlocked for us now. Well, we have some kind of lake, obviously. And I believe this level is... Cherry Lake? It is Cherry Lake! So, and we also have a nice little icon of the rescue squad leader of the purple rescue squad. So next time, guys, as we can't do anything else in Ruddy Road at the moment, let's head onwards to Cherry Lake. This has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.